so hello and welcome back guys so as in today's video i will teach you how to make the welcome greeting thing so we are going to use canva code to build our welcome card because i don't wanna do that much stuff and make the thing myself well if you guys want i can teach you how to make a welcome card yourself with canvas but you can comment out that if you want me to do that so first of all you have to install this using npm i canva code command well let's just move on to visual studio code and i will show you all of the things and please tell me guys if you like this theme and if i should zoom it or not so well let's go so first of all in terminal type npm i canva code then discord dash canvas you need to install both of these libraries and bam these will be installed i have already installed them because i already coded the code so let's begin real quick so first of all we are gonna make some changes in our model called guild config so we are just gonna add this welcome property and it will have the enable property the channel property this will contain the channel id and then we will have the message property its type is a string and default value is this welcome and mention the user well i will tell you about this stuff and let's move on to event well first of all i'm going to teach you how the event thing will work then we will make a command to set up all of this so in our guild member add.to.js just make this file in the events folder and everything else is automated all right so first of all we are exporting our well importing our guild config uh, um, th this is the guild config model and the canva code class and then this is our normal simple function and make sure it is async otherwise you will get an error and then we are just defining some important stuff first of all const data is equals to guild config dot find one bam all right we are just finding one data i mean we are just finding the guild model uh, sorry the document of this guild id i mean you know what i'm saying and then we are just getting the channel if it, the data exists then get the channel id and search for the channel in the cached so if the channel do not exist or the welcome module is not enabled well is it if it is not equal to true then just return it means the thing is disabled or the channel is deleted so we have to ignore that thing anyways and then here comes with a second all uh, right so here comes const welcome image is equals to new canva code dot welcomer we are using this welcomer class in order to define our thing and wait a second all right then we are doing some stuff like we are setting the avatar to this thing we are using the normal member dot user dot display avatar thing and make sure the dynamic it is set it to false and format is png and the username is equals to this simple thing and discriminator is this and then we are setting the guild name to whatever the guild name is and member count by plus one because i think we do have to plus one i'm i'm not really 100 percent sure and if we do not have to you can just remove that thing it is not much of a big deal and then we are setting a background image if you want you can probably set some background color instead of an image but i'm setting this image because i i like it and then here comes this message this is the normal message content we are going to send along the image so first of all it is just data dot welcome dot message this means we are just getting this value all right and then we are going to replace the mention thing to by mentioning the user of course and by the way this is a simple regex to replace each and every wait a second to replace each and every this thing this one to mention and then we have one for the server thing it will be replaced by the guild name and then we have the number of members all right pretty simple and also we are doing this for user it will replace this user thing to the username and then we are finally sending the stuff to the channel the content refers to this message and then we have the files and by the way let's just name it content and then we are gonna just do this bam done so pretty simple i will say and now we can move on to the main thing and wait a second i just added this thing for testing if message or content is goes to testo well it will just emit the guild member add function i mean event and it will provide this parameter i am doing this because i don't have any alt account to join this server for testing so you know i hope you understand what i'm saying right and then here comes the main thing my friend the real command which will set up or control each and everything this time it is pretty simple and small and if you want i can extend the stuff too so first of all this is our we are just importing our uh, the model the database model of guild configs and then we are exporting a simple command in data we have the name 
which will be welcome and then we have the description set up the welcome configuration for a server and then we have options quite a lot of options so the first one the first option is for enabling the thing the name is enable and the description is enable the mo module for your server and type is one one refers to the sub command type well yeah sub command all right but anyways now we have options we are only going to have a single option in our enable command that will be the channel like where you want to send the welcome image and we are setting that type to seven and it is required so it is true if you can make it false too but i will say that channel thing is important and then we have a disable command it is just for disabling the welcome module of course and then we have this the set message command well the name is set message description is change the welcome message for server and then we have these options and the well we only have a single option the message option and make sure the type is three <laughs> i don't know why i typed it seven but i probably just copy pasted that stuff but the type is three and it indeed is required let's make it true comma well there were a lot of errors i never noticed them but anyways the welcome message and then i told them about these keys i don't know what to call it keys or i don't know you can probably make the description a bit better and i guess let's move on to the main thing and by the way the permissions are set to manage server so if a user has this permission only then they can use this command so now we are almost done with our stuff and by the way if you have any problem in this stuff you can just go to the github and if you are still unable to do the thing just create an issue on the github or just put the thing in the comment box on youtube so first of all we are replying to the interaction saying the bot is thinking and then we are getting some important stuff first of all we are fetching the guild config we are first of all first searching for the data if data exists okay if the data do not exist just create one and by the way if you don't know about mongoose go check it out on my youtube well i will post the link in the description or something and then we have the channel well we are just getting the channel from our options and by the way guys this channel thing should be equal to uh, this option name all right well i hope you know about interactions and then here comes the message well we are just getting the message thing and then command refers to the sub command we are in so first of all if the sub command is equals to enable then we are first of all going to check if the thing is already enabled data.welcome.enable and if the data.welcome.channel is equals to the channel provided so you might ask why we are doing this it is because well we are checking when a user use the enable command we have to check if the thing is already enabled and second thing we have to check if the channel is already set to the same thing all right well this is just a simple check and it just replies saying the module is already enabled and the channel you are providing us is the same channel we have in our database so why the heck you are doing this and then the and then the second if check it is just for checking the channel type if the channel do not exist second it is totally impossible the channel do not exist but i added it anyways and then we have the or check uh, it is checking if channel dot type is not equal to guild text or the guild news if it is not equal to any of these then throw this error invalid channel was provided please provide a text channel well to be honest we can literally remove this guild news thing but just it is totally possible that few people might want to make it a news channel so i added that and then we are changing the data.welcome property to this we are setting the channel id to the provided channels id and then we are enabling the thing and the message is equals to data.welcome.message well now we are going to use the find one and update function because i hate to use the dot save thing well we can probably do data dot save thing but i don't like to do that so we are going to do await guild config dot find one and update then we will provide this filter and we are going to set the welcome property to all of this stuff all right and then comes the interaction dot edit reply and we are just saying the module is enabled and channel is set to this and guys one more thing make sure you are using edit dot edit reply because we already replied to the interaction here all right and now comes the disable thing in disable thing we are we are just checking one thing if the thing is already disabled then just say the module is already disabled otherwise and by the way let's make it if it is not equal to true all right so it is just checking if the thing is not true and if it is not true this means it is false and then we just see the welcome module is already disabled and if it is not disabled just disable the thing and say the module is disabled pretty simple i guess 
and then we have the set message command it is also simple as frick we just have to change the data we are just well i'm i'm doing this because the message thing it is a required option so user have to provide it and then we are just setting the welcome dot message property to that property and then we are replying to the user saying the welcome message is changed and then one more thing if the thing is disabled if the welcome module is disabled then we will also say by the way the welcome module is disabled so that user can know that the thing is disabled and guess what guys you made the welcome greeting thing successfully just by a small line of code and now let me show you that all of this works and thank god i was recording this correct screen and now let's jump to discord well i already tested it so you know if i type test to then it is going to do one thing well it is going to emit that event well you know what i'm saying and now you can see it said welcome shishui but alt to hype now we are a family of 174 thing well you know it is working and i guess thanks a lot for watching if you want to know anything more just tell me i will do it i will make the video and bye and by the way make issue on github or type on comment section because i'm dead on discord bye